Hi everybody, I hope you guys are doing well. It has been a while since I've uploaded a video here on YouTube. I have had a crazy busy year. Just quickly wanted to explain where I've been, why I haven't been on YouTube. I actually took on a new full-time job this year in addition to the freelance work I've been doing. So I've basically been working two full-time jobs. It has been super crazy and I really just haven't had time to film and edit and upload videos like I had been last year. However, I have still been buying jewelry, of course. I've still been watching a lot of other creators here on YouTube who talk about jewelry and share their pieces and I've missed it so much. I finally had a little bit of time this weekend. This is like the first weekend I've had where I had some time that I could film. So in front of me here, I have some, let's see if I can angle this up. I have some vintage jewelry. <laughs> Those are from my local antique store and they are filled with goodies. I'm so excited to go through them with you today. Um, all vintage pieces. I've opened the boxes already. I've had these for a few months now. So I've quickly looked through the pieces and then I kind of stored them away to go through them further at a later date. And that is what we're gonna do today. I'm super excited to share them with you. And before we dive in to the boxes, I do have just a few additional pieces. I have some pieces laid out here and a few that I'm wearing that I wanted to show you uh, before we dive in fully to these boxes. I probably won't get through all four of these boxes here in this one video. It would be a crazy long video, um, but I will try to get through at least one, maybe two, and then do my best to film the rest of the boxes for you guys to see here. So thank you so much for watching. Let's get started. All right, and so first up, I want to share with you a few new Tiffany items that I've picked up recently. So I have put together my charm bracelet, which if you guys are not new to my channel, you may have seen um, me putting together my holiday charm bracelet last year. I didn't film it this year, but I did get a new charm, well, a new to me charm. And it is this one here. This is the Tiffany & Company 1837 Blue Enamel charm and it's just so cute. I found this on The Real Real. It is um, pre-owned obviously, uh, but I wanted something to add another pop of Tiffany Blue. I do have uh, my padlock charm on here that I absolutely love. So um, yep, so I've just added this little charm to my bracelet this year and I really love it. And then also this ring that I'm wearing, this bottom one here, this is the Tiffany Notes band. This one I also found on The Real Real. And believe it or not guys, they had this ring listed for $65 with 20% off. So, and it was my size and everything. I snatched that right up. So, you know, take a look at the real real. Um, sometimes their prices are kind of crazy. Other times they have amazing deals. Anyway, um, I've yeah picked up this notes band. Um, love it. I think it looks really pretty stacked. So yeah, that's what I am wearing today. All right. So all of the boxes in front of us here came from a antique store in my town. It's really, it's not even a mile away. It is an amazing antique store. It is about an entire city block full of antiques. And I recently found kind of a secret <laughs> hiding spot in one of the dealer's booths where they stored these kind of plastic bins and containers full of jewelry. Um, I had never seen them before, but it's kind of my new, my new spot that I go and check every couple of weeks and uh, see what they have. So all of these came from there. And then the pieces laid out in front of us here, um, a lot of these did come from that same antique store, but were items that I purchased kind of separately, you know, that they had displayed individually in their cases. So let's look through these. So the first item here is this micro mosaic bracelet. I love micro mosaics. Um, you know, they don't really hold as much value as I think they should in terms of free sale, but look how beautiful. I saw this uh, sitting in the case and there's no missing pieces. I just really liked the colors on this. I loved sort of this black backdrop to the floral pattern. Just so, so pretty. It's definitely older. You can see here is the back. I just think these bracelets are beautiful. So I, I grabbed this one. I think I paid probably $40. So I did pay up a little bit for it, but I love it. It's beautiful. Happy to have that in my collection. Um, and then from the antique store as well. So some of you guys might think these are weird and I fully understand, <laughs> but I used to have pet rats 
I love mice and rat themed pieces, especially jewelry. And I just think these brooches are so cute. So the first one here is actually plastic um, with little red eyes. And I just, I find these so adorable. I love the ones that are very simple. They're just kind of this teardrop shape that they put turn into these mice. This one here is very similar, but this one is made out of wood. Definitely has some wear, but I just, I don't know. I love these. I know some people probably think these are very weird. I paid only a few dollars for them and very cute, love them. Okay, and this next piece here, this is really special, you guys. So this is a sterling silver bangle with this gorgeous piece of amber. Um, so beautiful, definitely a modernist, kind of mid-century modern design. I absolutely love it. And if we look at the inside here, it is marked. And now let's see if we can get it to focus. So that says Laponia. So I did do some research on this piece and um, it is by a mid-century modern designer. Um, I believe he was out of Denmark, Paul Havgard. I'm sure I'm grossly mispronouncing that, but he was a jewelry designer, became very famous and popular in the 1960s. And this is a piece that was designed in the 60s. This particular one I think is a newer version. So they continued to make this design. Um, so I don't think this is actually from the 60s. I think this is more likely 80s, 90s, but so beautiful. I absolutely love this. I did see a few of these on Etsy and online listed for really high prices. So I'm really not sure what the value is, but I just loved it. I thought it was really, really beautiful. So just another piece I picked up that I wanted to share with you all before we dive into these boxes. And then finally, so I love charm bracelets. As you guys know, I just showed you my Tiffany charm bracelet, but I love vintage charm bracelets as well. And this one is just so sweet. So there are a ton of little charms on here. They're all from different locations, definitely a traveler's charm bracelet. We have this person <laughs> on a horse here, this man. Um, this one says Black Hills. We have this pine cone that is so cute. And this one says Big Basin, um, this Lake Tahoe, these little dice. We have this little wagon here, um, tennis racket. Oh, this boat is so cool. It's definitely like a Viking style ship. And these are all sterling silver, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, this one says Morro Bay, this palm tree. And then this piece, this is my favorite one. This is actually the reason why I got this charm bracelet. So it's a little slot machine. But inside it has this little roll of paper and it does have this kind of pull here and you pull this and that little roll of paper moves so i i just think that's so cute so it has this articulated arm you know where you pull like at the casino at the slot machine pull it down spin it back up <laughs> so so cute and cool so i think this kind of roll of paper is a little out of alignment um over the years but it still works and I just thought that was adorable and very very charming. Then we have an eagle, we have this bison, this one says Yellowstone on it, we have a little train, I believe this one says Knott's Berry Farm somewhere on the piece, and a little music note. So I have a number of these types of bracelets. I want to do a whole dedicated video to my charms and charm bracelets. I definitely plan to do that for you guys one of these days but I just wanted to share this one um, just because I thought the charms on it were so fun, particularly this little slot machine. Absolutely love it. Okay, so now we're gonna dive into the vintage jewelry boxes. We're gonna start with this one here. Um, as you can see, they were all priced very differently. This one says 30, it was half off, so I think this one was $15. Some of the pieces might have gotten mixed up between the boxes because as I mentioned, I did go through them quickly and kind of put them all back, so. I'm not sure if this all of these came in this box originally or not, but in any case, this is the one we're gonna start with. Tons of fun pieces in here and I'm super excited to share them with you. So I'm gonna put this off to the side. Yeah, let's do it just like this. I'm gonna put this off to the side and just kind of pull the pieces over this way. Okay, so first piece, this is really cool. So this is some sort of panel bracelet. Um, I don't know how old this is. It does have a fold over clasp look at the back so it has this book chain style link brass I would say and it has these really cool glass 
stones. They're kind of frosted, so we have blues and greens and clear. So I have no idea of the age of this piece, but I really like the construction. If you look at the kind of brass panels here, they do have this sort of deco looking engraving on them. So very simple little design, but I just think it's really cool. Um, so, okay, so that's the first piece there. We have an AB crystal necklace, so I love these. I have a whole collection of AB crystal necklaces and earrings, and in fact, I think in one of these other boxes, there is a ton of AB crystal pieces. So these are glass. I mean, just look at the sparkle on them. I love these. Three strand. We have that hook style clasp. Let's see, what does this say? Laguna, okay, so this is Laguna. Very, very pretty. Okay, this next piece, so I did see this before. This is really special, but it does have some issues, unfortunately. Um, this is amethyst and faux pearl, so this is genuine amethyst, and it is Miriam Haskell. So it has the Miriam Haskell, see it's backwards, hang tag here. It is also marked on the clasp this way, Miriam Haskell. Ugh. It's so pretty, but it is missing the end piece. So it, it would have had a little extender kind of similar to what this crystal piece has here. So how it has this little piece where you hook the clasp on. This one had the same thing, but with faux pearls. So that piece is missing. And there are a few pearls that have a little bit of peeling happening. It's very minor, but let's see. I think that's see that piece here. So it does have some condition issues, unfortunately, but it is Miriam Haskell. These are genuine amethyst stones. It's not missing any of the rhinestones here. It's so pretty. Um, so with the, with the damage, I'm not sure what the value of something like this would be. Um, I'm not even sure if it's in a state to be sold <laughs> as is, but I would love to find at least a little extender just to make this wearable again. So maybe just another faux pearl little piece to add on to the back there so that this can be worn. So I think even with the little bit of peeling, it is beautiful. It's a gorgeous vintage Miriam Haskell piece and deserves to be saved. So I hope to find a way to do that. But I do remember finding this piece before and thinking, oh, how stunning. So that's a beautiful one. Next, look at this huge piece. <laughs> Okay, so we have this gold tone. This is plastic, just kind of a resin um, meant to simulate jade, I believe. Here is the back of the piece. And I mean, this is huge. So we have this really large bale with a gold tone chain and then matching kind of faux jade plastic beads all up through the top. And we have so I don't actually, I wonder if the, the two chains came on this or somebody put this together because they are separate. They have separate clasps. So it's possible this gold chain was put on later, but in any case, just spring ring clasps. Really cool statement piece. I really, really like this. Kind of has an Asian looking um, feel to it. Let's see. Here we have some cool wood bangles. So I guess this is sort of like a dyed wood with some sort of clear glaze over top. I like the striped look of these. I like the really fun colors. These Let's see. Ooh, so I love this. So here we have some glass beads. These have that Millefiore design, uh, the little flower details in them with a barrel clasp so definitely an older piece these are really pretty i again i like the black with the colors um kind of reminds me of that micro mosaic bracelet i shared with you earlier i think these really bright colors up against the black is really stunning this is a really pretty piece and i think i've mentioned before you guys that i am not a vintage jewelry expert so i don't know a ton about these pieces if you guys have more information from me or you see something you recognize, I would love to know more about these. So, so please share any information you have down in the comments. I would really, really appreciate it. So here we have a brooch. We have these gold tone leaves with these faux pearls. 
and this beautiful blue stone, which I do see some little gold flecks, so this is possibly lapis. Would need to do some more investigation into that because these white pieces, I'm not sure I've seen in lapis before. It's normally more of this deeper blue with some little gold flecks, but I'm seeing some, you see that there? There are some gold kind of flecks in this piece, so possible lapis, very pretty. No maker's mark um, that I can see, but that's a pretty brooch. Ooh, okay, so here we have some sort of stick pin, I suppose. These really beautiful rhinestones. Here's what the back looks like. Let's see, do these... Oh, yep, so it does screw off. So, I, you know, I'm used to seeing stick pins with the single end, you know, and it kind of just has a, a stopper at the other. So this one is double-ended, so I'm actually not entirely sure where this is meant to be worn. Is this for a hat? Is it for a scarf or a jacket? Um, I don't know. If you guys know, let me know. Uh, but this one's really beautiful. These rhinestones are in really great shape. Nice. Okay, and here we have, this is a really chunky, heavy piece. So we have a gold tone bracelet with these really cool shaped blue rhinestones. Like, look at that. That's a really unique shape. I don't know if I've ever seen a rhinestone with that kind of swirly shape before. Very cool. And you can see, see how this bracelet kind of sits up? These pieces curve up. So there's a lot of dimension here to this bracelet. That's what the back looks like. We have a safety chain and I think, yeah, I think this clasp is broken. So let's see. Yeah, so it's missing the hinge, the top of this foldover clasp. So that would need to be fixed somehow, but it looks like all the rhinestones are here. I don't see any maker's mark and potentially it was on the top of this clasp. Maybe that missing piece had the maker's mark because this seems like such a a cool piece I would expect to be signed. So I don't know who made this, but that's really beautiful. Oh my gosh, these are so fun. <laughs> Very mod, kind of 60s. These are just plastic, but look at these. Are these daisies, I think? Really, really sweet drop earrings. They are clip-ons. They say Hong Kong. Um, these are really cute. I can see a really fun kind of 60s mod look with these really cute drop earrings. Love those. Okay, and here we have a graduated gold bead necklace. I think this one is gold filled if I'm remembering correctly. Let's see. Yeah, so I, I know it's going to be really hard to see on camera here, but it is marked on this clasp here, and it does say um, gold filled. So this is just a really nice gold filled necklace. I really like gold filled pieces. I have a whole collection of gold filled items. I think they wear really well. And I'm somebody who can have reactions to costume jewelry pieces. I can't wear them quite as often as I'd like, but gold filled I can wear without those kind of uh, reactions to my skin. So this is really pretty. I think this would make a really nice layering piece. Reminds me of the Tiffany graduated bead necklace that they do um, in silver. So fun. Okay. Oh, so we have a brooch and then this earring fell. Do we have a, yep, we do. Okay. So, okay. Look at how cute these are. Oh my gosh. So these are cherries. We have the drop earrings and the matching brooch. I love these. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. So it looks like we have a bit of condition issue though. The enameling on these leaves is worn in some areas, unfortunately, but how, I don't know. I think these are still wearable. I would still wear these. That is so fun. Here's what the back looks like. And yeah, these are just plastic. I don't think these are Bakelite or anything. They're very, very light. Um, they just don't have that, that feel to me but those are really, really cute. Okay, 
Okay, and here we have a charm bracelet. Ooh, this is cool. So here we, it's a fold over clasp with these little medallions. So this definitely looks Asian inspired. It's green glass bead. Oh, very cool, okay. Maybe kind of East Asian inspired. Another glass bead there. Yeah, definitely some sort of um, character. So I actually don't know. I'm not super familiar. A bead here. Oh, look at this piece. That's cool. It's a really large charm there. Yeah, okay, so this is just a gold, kind of antique gold tone charm bracelet. I think this is really cool. Um, I'm not, again, I'm not sure exactly what sort of East Asian country this is from, but I love these charms, I, especially this one. I don't know, this one stands out to me, this really cool, kind of like a bottle almost, or some sort of vase with this pagoda style architecture on it. I don't know, very cool. I like this a lot. And it's funny because these boxes, I think, are sort of the reject pieces from the dealers, but I feel like there's a lot of really cool wearable items. I think some of them have condition issues and maybe that's why they loaded them up or they just, I don't know, just felt that they weren't worth selling individually. So here's a really pretty deep burgundy pearl strand. They are knotted in between. Let's see, does this feel? Definitely faux, they're very, very smooth. But that's a nice piece, pretty. Let's see, does this say? Japan on it? Yep, Japan. <laughs> oh, look at this little guy. Okay, this is strange. Um, this is definitely real fur. This is extremely soft, you guys. Like, I don't know if it's rabbit or mink. I mean, it's very, very soft. It looks like it used to be attached to something. There's some sort of little hoop here. So <laughs> I don't know, he's he's quite strange, isn't he, with his little face and um, eyes, but I kind of love how strange and weird he is. Um, I have no idea what this was though, or what this was attached to. Maybe it was even part of a scarf or a hat or something. Um, I don't know. If you guys know, please let me know. But that's a very strange, interesting little find. <laughs> Okay, so here is another kind of carved Asian-inspired piece. It looks like we have some gold tone bamboo pieces in the background and then these carved figures here. And it looks like this maybe used to be a brooch or was part of some, oh yeah, see, broken off. So it was part of something else. No idea, maybe it was part of a necklace or it'd be a really cool necklace if it was kind of all different carved links like this, but that's kind of a cool piece to craft with. Interesting. Ooh, oh, I love the design of this. So this is a clamper. Okay, so it's a little off kilter, maybe needs to be adjusted a little bit, but I really like the design on this. Some wear to the gold tone here, but that's quite cool. Interesting. I'm gonna grab see a few different brooches and things so I'm just gonna put a few of them together speed things up a little bit I do think that these videos are gonna last <laughs> a while you guys I have so much to go through okay so here's a few brooches okay we have a little Christmas angel with little rhinestones I don't see a maker's mark on that um, we have this little pin, Moravian, I think that's what that says. I'm actually not sure what that means. Definitely some wear on that. That's kind of cool. Um, I know people collect pins like this um, if they have particular meaning. I don't know what that one is. We have a gold tone heart with these faux pearls. Pretty, okay. So we have a zodiac pendant. This is Scorpio, silver tone. 
October 23rd, November 22nd. And this says El Raza. So not familiar with that maker, but definitely will look that up. That's quite cool. I like the link on this chain. It's a nice large um, round chain link piece. That's, that's cool. It's actually not super heavy. The charm is kind of heavy, but this chain is quite light. Interesting. Fun. Okay. So we have some clip earrings here. Definitely missing our little seed pearls surrounding, but this is an interesting type of cameo. They're raised, definitely some sort of plastic. But if we replace the little seed pearls on here, um, I actually think these are quite cool. No idea of age on this. They have that kind of, I don't know if that's the 1928 pattern, but I know 1928 jewelry has that kind of swirly pattern. This one looks a little different, so I don't know that this is 1928, but it does remind me of that. I don't know, let me know if you guys um, know differently. <laughs> Those are interesting. Okay, now it looks like we have a few milk glass pieces. So let's see. Little milk glass flowers and then these drops. It looks like we're missing the hook on this earring. But I think that's pretty easily replaced. We have those. It's an interesting brooch. Um, this is plastic. I think it's meant to sort of simulate cinnabar, though it's not really, you know, Cinnabar kind of has that layered effect. This really doesn't have that. It just has that red color. So it makes me think of Cinnabar. Um, definitely has been <laughs> repaired and put onto a new pin, huh? But interesting. Wow, look at this pendant. This is huge too. So we have a red faux stone in the center, silver tone with this sort of black tarnished, um, detail. No maker on that, but that is a cool statement piece. It's so funny. I, I got a comment before saying, asking me to stop saying cool. I can't help it. You guys, it's just part of my, <laughs> part of my vocabulary. I don't know if it's, um, growing up in the nineties. I don't know. So I do say cool a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here we have, what looks like, um, a liquid silver type of piece. I think these are bone. I think these are bone. And then we have some sort of natural stone here, some sort of agate, I believe. That's quite interesting, this barrel clasp. So I don't know if that's real sterling or not, would have to test it, but I feel like my camera keeps um, focusing. Maybe I need to move, make some room. He was focusing on the jewelry down here. It's been a while since I filmed you guys. I've got to get used to it. Get back into the swing of it. Okay, and here we have another three strand crystal piece or glass bead piece, but these are black. Definitely some sort of glass. Pretty. Another glass bead piece. This one is broken. There is no clasp on the end here, but I do think that's probably repairable. We have those little crystal rondelles, similar to that Miriam Haskell piece we just looked at. Pretty. Oh, these are fun. <laughs> so these are a white enamel over silver tone metal with these little different colored rhinestone pieces. I think they've seen better days though. There's some wear to the enameling. I think we're missing a few rhinestones, but they're kind of fun. I really like the movement on these. Those are pretty cute. This is pretty. So I think this is a faux stone, but it's made to look like some sort of natural stone. I think they did a pretty good job with that. Yeah, I don't. It doesn't, I mean, it's it's kind of cold, but I don't know. I'm not sure if that's a, a stone or not. It might be. But this is definitely some sort of silver tone. That's not sterling that it's set in. But it's actually really pretty. 
and then just on a silver tone chain. That's pretty. I like the nice size of that. That's another kind of statement-y size piece. A cool earring. Um, I don't see a match in there. I'm gonna keep looking. I'm gonna set this to the side, but what is this made? I think this is plastic, maybe. Hmm. That's pretty though. I love that. It's kind of an ombre pink. It's sort of translucent, just slightly. That's interesting. So I'm gonna set that to the side and see if we find a match in here. Oh. You, are these more cherries or are these cranberries? I don't know. We found our cherry pieces earlier, but this is, so these are sort of a frosted red with these little glass, I think glass, or maybe this is a venturine stone. I'm not sure, but those are pretty. So little drops for some reason, I think it's because there's so many that I feel like they're cranberries. Maybe they're meant to be cherries though. Um, these are really fun too. Ooh, I hope I find a match to these. These are beautiful. Multicolor rhinestone clip earrings. No maker, but how fun are those? I love the colors in that. Okay, set that to the side. It looks like we have another kind of faux stone piece. Where is that? Are these different? I don't know, these are quite similar. Although this is in that silver tone, so, but that's a, definitely the same type of, maybe this is a stone, you guys, I don't know. It does feel cold. It's just, it's so smooth, you know? So something tells me it's faux. I'd have to look more into it. That's interesting. Okay, so this was a brooch, but our pin is missing. Could be turned into a pendant though. I think that would make a really cool statement pendant. All right. This is kind of pretty. So here is a little pendant. It is a clear resin, but it has this little flower set into it. I really like that. Yeah, meant to be put on a pendant chain. That is pretty. Wow, this is a very large <laughs> pearl piece. Okay, I mean, let's try to back that up. Wow, so it's kind of like a bib style with, yep, just a hook clasp. Now that is a statement. These are definitely faux pearls, but I mean, it's in good shape, but wow, that is a statement piece if I've ever seen one. And here we have some ceramic flower pieces. These earrings are quite beautiful. So they're these hot pink roses, screw back. And then this brooch definitely needs a nice cleanup. I think it's chipped in quite a few places. This might be destined for um, the craft crafter. Uh, this says made in, made in England. So this probably was really beautiful at one, at one time, but yeah, the edges of the leaves are all chipped. And it's quite dirty, but I mean, I think these are really cool anyway. This would be a fun piece to craft with. And I think these earrings are still in really nice shape. Ooh, I love these. Okay, so we have some thermoset screw back earrings. Let's try to separate these. These are beautiful. So we have this pink moon glow plastic, which I believe is thermoset on a screw back. I love these, these are beautiful. I do have a small collection of thermoset um, that is growing, so I will add these to that. Beautiful. Oh, I hope we find a match to this. Look at this earring. Okay, so it is a clip earring, but look how beautiful. All of these stones have kind of like an AB coating, but we have these ones. They appear to be glass, but you can see that they're textured. I'm not sure if there is a name for that. I'm sure some of you watching know. Please let me know down in the comments. But we have these pink rhinestones and then this 
kind of smooth cabochon style stone. That's beautiful. If I don't find a match, this is another really beautiful kind of crafting piece. And I don't think I mentioned this yet, but this year I'm trying to make Christmas ornaments out of a lot of the craft um, vintage like rhinestone pieces that I get, all the broken pieces. So we'll see how that goes. I'll have to uh, update you all on that. Actually, you know what? I have my prototype off to the side here. Maybe I'll pull that in after we look at this piece. So here is a ring, gold tone. This is some sort of ceramic kind of transferware with a flower design. Pretty. So just quickly, let me just share this with you just because I'm kind of excited about it. So this is my prototype. I need to find a way to better um, produce this, but you know, if you are somebody who buys Goodwill blue boxes or these craft jewelry lots, you get a ton of these bangles. I mean, I have loads and loads of them and wasn't sure what to do with them. So I think I'm gonna make ornaments using this as the base. I'm going to have my boyfriend either solder or we're going to use E6000 and figure it out. This is, again, this is the very first <laughs> stage of planning. Um, but I'm going to take pieces like this and then take my broken kind of craft jewelry pieces and, you know, make something beautiful, make some beautiful ornaments that I, I hope to gift um, some family members and then use kind of on my own tree, right? But isn't that kind of beautiful? So I have to spend some time figuring that out, but this was sort of the prototype of, okay, how can I use these bangles? make something cool and beautiful. And um, this would be kind of the base of our little ornament. Uh, so I'll have to update you guys. If I if they end up working out, I will show them to you. <laughs> um, but that's the plan. We'll see if I have time for that though. I've got all these ideas and plans, you guys, but not enough time to do them all. But this is cute. So this is like a little wishing well. That is adorable. And it does have some things engraved. Esther and Jerry. Okay, that's adorable. Their names alone are adorable. Okay, I love this. I don't think this is sterling. I think it's just silver tone, but that is absolutely adorable. I love sort of imagining <laughs> Esther and Jerry's relationship here and why they had this wishing well. That is adorable. I love that. That's another thing I love about vintage jewelry is just thinking about the people who owned these pieces and loved them and sort of the stories behind them. I just think it's all fascinating. And, um, you know, I hope to give these pieces a second life or repurpose them in some way. Um, that's always my goal. These are beautiful. So these are another kind of articulated dangly drop earring, with these beautiful rhinestones just to clip back. These are in really good shape though. Not a lot of wear or like tarnish look to them. Pretty. Okay, another pair of screw back earrings. These are pretty. These sort of opalescent faux stones and pink rhinestones. A matched pair, which is nice. This is strange. We have just this wood pendant, nothing on it. I don't know, this could be, I could see something kind of engraved in here would be cool. Interesting, my boyfriend does woodworking. Maybe I'll um, give that to him and see if he can make something out of it. Oh, wow. Okay, here we have this mesh choker necklace, hook style clasp. It has these little dangled charms. Something about this doesn't seem terribly old to me. Maybe this is sort of a kind of meant to look old piece. I feel like I've seen this sort of hang tag before. This might be some sort of maker. Um, is that Sarah Coventry or something? I don't know, I don't know. But definitely a vintage inspired piece. This is really pretty. We have another ring here. This is interesting gold tone kind of filigree work with this black, I think faux stone, adjustable. Yeah, this is definitely faux. That's very cool though. I love the look of that. Nice. 
<laughs> Here we have just a button pin. Here's Chicago. That's kind of cute. 50 cents this was at somebody's booth, I guess. Interesting. My boyfriend actually lived in Chicago for 10 years, so maybe that's something he could keep <laughs> as a keepsake. I don't know what he'd do with it, but... Oh, okay. I love this type of jewelry. Here we have a Morpho screw back earring. I remember finding this and there is this, there isn't a match, unfortunately, but how beautiful. I love these Morpho pieces. So it's actually an iridescent Morpho butterfly wing that they put underneath the glass here. So you can see it's clear and then it's reverse painted with that black design. I love these. So there's some really interesting ones. A lot of them are these sort of tropical scenes for some reason, um, but I've seen ones that are not the palm tree that are really, really interesting. I've actually seen ones that are butterflies, like painted, a reverse painted butterfly on top of the butterfly wing, which I love. I'd love to find um, a whole set or maybe a necklace or something. But I do think this could be repurposed into a really beautiful pendant. Okay, I love that. Another charm bracelet. Fold over clasp. I think this is those kind of faux monogram pieces where it's meant to look like letters, but I don't think it really is. Oh, a calendar. It looks like somebody's birthday was in November. <laughs> That's quite cute. And then a four leaf clover with a little faux pearl. This is a very sweet little charm bracelet. I don't see any maker's marks on any of the charms around the clasp here. I doubt it's on the inside, but no. Okay, but that's quite cute. I really like this calendar charm. It's actually nice and heavy too. That's kind of a nice big piece. Okay, another choker style piece. We have this black velvet. But this, this piece here is quite pretty. We have a faux pearl drop with this kind of faux opal stone there. Just, yeah, just gold tone closure. I don't know how terribly old this is, but meant to look kind of that, like that Victorian choker style. It's quite pretty. Wow, what is this? Okay, remember Pearl Harbor. Okay, so this is a Pearl Harbor memorial piece. Looks like we're missing a pearl here and we have some damage to the pearl there. This is interesting. Okay, yes, it was a brooch at one time. We're missing the pin. Ooh, okay. So here we have a silver tone panel style necklace. And here's what the back of that looks like. This is a very cool design. It's kind of raised, definitely has some dimension to it. Japan. Okay, so I'm used to seeing a lot of beaded and glass pieces from Japan, a lot of faux pearls, but this is kind of a unique Japan piece, at least from what I have found. This is really nice. I really like that one. This is pretty, definitely a very Art Nouveau type of look <laughs> to this piece. It's just an enameled pendant, but I love the colors on that. Yeah, just costume. So uh, I don't think that says anything, but that's quite pretty. Any of these, I, I see a lot of these really beautiful rhinestone earrings in here. I don't know, I don't see matches though, but these are the perfect pieces for um, my ornament crafting. <laughs> If you don't find matches, I will um, certainly try to repurpose these in some way. Beautiful rhinestones. These are fun. <laughs> okay, so we have these dangle drop earrings. This is definitely all faux plastic, but it's interesting. This is meant to look like branch coral, but it's in a turquoise blue color with these faux pearls. Those are super interesting. Those are really fun. <laughs> I 
I like the sound they make. Okay. Another um, costume ring. So this is a faux stone here, but that's very pretty blue. Quite a bit of wear, but I think I should make a lot of all of my costume rings and try to sell those maybe because I do have a growing collection. I don't, I don't really wear those pieces too much. So I do try to wear these really fun pieces um, just to give them life. I just feel sad if they're sitting in a box, but this is um, some sort of plastic, I suppose. It's got an interesting design. There is an earring. I don't, I don't see a match here in the box, but I will set it to the side to see. Oh yeah, I remember finding these. So here we have a few padlocks. Definitely worn, but they're quite cool. Um, yeah, it looks like there's a key that would actually open these. I don't know if these could be cleaned up, if these are brass, or if um, that, that wear is just there. Um, if anybody knows anything about these or what these might have been for, possibly a necklace maybe, or maybe they were locks for some sort of box of some sort. I really don't know. But those are quite interesting. They'd make a cool pendant, I think. tangles in here. Uh-oh. Okay. So here we have a green glass necklace, multi-strand. No, those are really pretty colors. Yeah, these are definitely glass. In nice shape. That's pretty. Okay, I see the culprit of some of our tangles here. So one second. Okay, so this is cool, but it is broken. So we have these really pretty glass beads. I love these. So I found something similar with these pink beads. They almost look like gum. <laughs> I know that's kind of gross. They kind of look like chewed gum to me, but I don't know, there's something really charming about them. Um, some of these beads are really beautiful. But yeah, as you can see, we have some strings here. So it is broken. We're missing a couple strands, but I think these beads could be repurposed and crafted with, turned into something really beautiful. A few plastic kind of flower pieces. This one is an earring. This is just a piece. So maybe this was a brooch at one time. I'm not sure. These are pretty. Um, little white drop flower earrings. <sighs> Oh, he's kind of funny. Okay, I think that's a dog wearing a top hat with a little bell. Um, <laughs> well, I find these little figural animal brooches really funny and cute and charming. So no maker, he's kind of funny. I really love his top hat. <laughs> We're getting down to the tangles, everybody, so. Okay, so the first necklace here, it's pretty gold tone with this. I mean, there's a lot of flash in that. I think that's glass. Kind of has a labradorite kind of flash to it though. Don't see a maker. On this style, vintage clasp there. So this is definitely vintage, but it's pretty. And then this, meant to be like that kind of Zuni petite point turquoise pieces, but I think this is just resin. That's cool though. I do see a piece that looks like it's matching. So let me, oh, okay. So here we have another, oh, we're missing some stones here, but this is sort of that squash blossom shape, but it is just a piece and definitely faux. Okay, this is strange. <laughs> This is very strange. So we're definitely missing. So, okay, so I think it at one time had all of these little beads on it. Um, I don't know what this is supposed to be though. Um, I like this, this brass pin. Seems old and cool. It has that sort of C-clasp style. 
um, but these charms on it are very worse for wear. They're very odd looking. <laughs> um, but I do love this pin part. I think that could be salvaged and maybe we add some different charms onto it. Um, very interesting. I don't know what these were supposed to be. Okay, we have that. That's pretty. Looks like some sort of locket, kind of tangled up here. Let's get this off. There we go. So this black, I guess that's some sort of enameling with this sort of diamond cut metal design. Do you open? You do. Oh. Oh, look at that picture. <laughs> That is adorable. That reminds me of some of the photos of my mom in the 70s. I'm, I'm going to guess 70s on that photo. What a beautiful girl. Okay. Um, but yeah, just a little locket. I think it's just silver tone, but it's in really nice condition, actually. That's pretty. Oh, gosh. We have some tangles here. I think we're getting down to sort of the the end of this box. Let's see if there's anything kind of worth pulling out. These are kind of fun clip-on earrings. I really love the colors, the kind of pastel. They remind me of Easter colors. <laughs> Does anybody else see that? I don't know. Um, those are a nice matched pair. What else do we have? We have one of those resin type flower pieces, but in an earring. So we had this pendant earlier, not a match, but they're definitely that same sort of style. This one's a rose. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't think we have a match to that though, but another piece for crafting, but look how beautiful. I love that earring. Oh, here's an interesting looking pin. Okay, let's look at these. So here are a few more enamel pins. This one's very interesting. It has this sailboat. It says the locks. Sioux, Michigan. Okay, that's cool. So the Sioux, Michigan locks, um, sort of a waterway in here in Michigan. That is very cool. I really like this piece. Looks like copper, enamel over copper, oops. And then this one, this is the one I just dropped. <laughs> Another little enamel pin. This says Pioneer Association. I'm not familiar with that. Does have a marking. It just says W something and co. I don't think this is gold. I do test these from time to time because they can be Sometimes 10 karat gold, even unmarked. So I might test this, but I, I don't know. I don't think it is, but that's interesting. Again, those little pins um, are collectible sometimes. Some people have associations with, you know, the organization that put those out and, uh, you know, they hold, they hold meaning to, to certain people. We have, these are like a smaller version of those dangly drop earrings we had earlier. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, these ones, right? So these are like a small version of those. Interesting. Yeah, I think we're down to sort of the the mismatch odds and ends here. So a few more earrings, beautiful crystal. This one, I love that aquamarine color. Some more milk glass. Great crafting pieces. Yeah, and so I think we're down to sort of tangles. This is just a tangled mess. Um, I will get off to this off camera, but some more single earrings. Looks like there's, this is kind of interesting in here, this flower piece, um, but I don't think there's anything super interesting in this tangle. Um, so this, this broken piece of a pin, that's quite pretty though. If you added a little drop, maybe a little pearl. What else is in here? Another costume style ring. 
And then some of these plastic earrings. Looks like we have a set of multicolors. Um, we have some buttons, a navy button, some more plasticky buttons. So yeah, I think the rest of this is really just odds and ends, uh, kind of the end of this box. So I think I'm gonna stop it here for now. Hope to get to another box, maybe later today or tomorrow. And anyway, I hope this was fun. If you guys have information about any of the pieces that we unboxed here today, please let me know. I would love to learn more. I'm always learning. You can never know too much and you can never know everything. So yes, thank you guys so much. And I hope to post another video here soon. Won't be another six months. Let's hope. Okay, thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day.